Luckily, most of us don't live in earthquake country, but none of our homes are beyond the reach of a far more common threat. Oh, fire, 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 ah, fire! Over the past century, death rates from fires have dropped 90% in the United States, mostly thanks to smoke detectors, fireproof materials, and fire codes. Still, nearly 3,000 people die in residential fires each year. And now, the risk of wildfires seems to be on the rise, most likely due to higher temperatures and droughts brought on by climate change. We have foams and chemical retardants to knock down flames and slow the spread of fire, but many of these products are toxic to plants and animals. Short of installing sprinkler systems throughout the wilderness, can't we find a better way to combat fires? I've come to the headquarters of EarthClean in Minnesota to find out. Rumor on the street is you've come up with something better than water for putting out a fire. This is gonna put the fire out faster than anything you've seen before. Vanilla pudding? This goop is called Tetra KO and is different from plain old water in an important way. The unique thing about it is it actually adheres to where it's sprayed. You could spray it on a ceiling, you could spray it on a wall, and it would actually stick and stay there. So the firefighter, if it were water, would have to stand there hosing, 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 but now can just spray the goop and then move on to the next wall. Exactly. But won't this gel just melt away in a fire? I'll show you that the stick does actually burn. Apparently, this stuff can also keep things from going up in flames. What's in there exactly? Well, our main ingredient is cornstarch. Cornstarch? If you'd like to try it, you can. Oh, come on, what are you <laughs> It's all natural. You can eat it. So how does cornstarch stop the fire? You've all made gravy. So here's my cornstarch. And just add a little water, apply some heat, and that simple white powder becomes white goo. This will thicken up as soon as it gets hot. Cornstarch consists of long chains of glucose, a form of sugar tightly packed into tiny granules. When mixed in water and heated, those chains separate. They swell and create a net-like structure that makes the mixture thicker. That's why we use cornstarch to thicken gravy. And that's why this stuff sticks to walls in a fire instead of melting. So next time I'm making Thanksgiving dinner and it bursts into flame, as typically happens with me, what should I grab to throw on it? A bucket of water or the pot of gravy? Pot of gravy. The gel also contains polymers, long molecular chains dissolved in water, which give it the special properties of a non-Newtonian fluid. Most fluids are just plain Newtonian. Water is the classic example. Stir it, whisk it, shake it as much as you want, and it doesn't change its thickness. Juice, honey, and most oils are also Newtonian fluids. But non-Newtonian fluids change when you apply force to them. The best known non-Newtonian fluid is ketchup. And ketchup um, has this property when it's not being squeezed, it's a solid. But if you shake it up and it starts to move around, it liquefies. So this is facial cleanser. It's a gel, but it's pretty solid. It is solid. The bubbles are frozen in space. And yet, through the miracle of non-Newtonian fluid, it what turns into a liquid. Exactly. But this is also a solid. Right, this is hair styling gel. And then if we pump it, it liquefies. It turns into a mist. Right. The non-Newtonian firefighting gel also has a split personality. So the tetra is a gel when it's in the fire truck. Mm -hmm. and then you're spraying it, it comes out of the nozzle, it instantly turns into a liquid, so it can spray, then it lands on the wall, and then what? Turns back to a solid. Oh my gosh! But fire on a little paint stick is one thing. Let's see how the cornstarch does at putting out a real fire, like my little fake apartment here. The fire department of White Bear Lake, Minnesota, helps us stage a test. The gel hits the burning surfaces and sticks, smothering the flames. The cornstarch thickens the gel and releases clouds of steam. Wow, about two seconds that thing was out. And I mean, completely out. 
Local fire departments are using this new firefighting gel in the field. And though it costs more than just spraying water, some think it's worth it. Chief Zickman, can I talk to you a sec? You bet. Here, right. to. Have a seat. <laughs> Thanks, I'll pass. You've used this in real fires in, in, yeah. in, out in the world? Out in our community, we've had it on a half dozen fires. The crew would just hit it from the doorway, and the fire's out, and it stays out. And this is some of the best technology I've seen come along in years. Tetrakeo is in beta testing for use in wildfires. It can be sprayed on vegetation and buildings in the path of an approaching fire up to a day in advance. And it's non-toxic, safe for the environment, wildlife, and us. We've made great strides in protecting ourselves from fires, 